Man, these are very different. Kind of like sunglasses, but not. No, I would not wear these. But I can't tell that they're like high-tech glasses, I guess, just from looking at them. Maybe on the side you can tell something's going on here. These look like they came out of the uh, movie theater. Like 3D glasses you'd get. The arms are pretty thick. I'm not a big fan of that for style. They're maybe a little more masculine than I would go for, but, you know, I think you have to sacrifice some things if you're going to get certain technology. These are the Bose frames. Yes, they are sunglasses, but they also have micro speakers and microphones built into their frames. And technically, this is the smallest Bose audio system ever created. The frames are a little bulkier than your typical glasses and weigh a touch more, but they don't feel too heavy. Don't expect the two styles Bose is offering at launch to fit the same. I'm wearing the Alto style here. It's got a little bit squarer shape. I do prefer its style, though it is a little bit big on my face. The Rondo style fits me a little bit better. It's got a rounded style, as its name implies, and it is designed for smaller faces. Bose builds these as audio AR sunglasses because in the near future, they'll work with Bose's upcoming audio augmented reality platform that should be available by this summer. Unlike video-based AR platforms, Bose AR delivers audio feedback based on your phone's GPS location. And what's cool is that a nine axis motion sensor built into the glasses lets apps know exactly which way you're facing. Right now you can use the frames to stream audio and make calls. There are no volume controls on the frames, but there's a little multi-function button near the temple of the right frame that allows you to power on the glasses, pause your music, skip tracks forward and back, and answer and end calls. And if you turn your glasses over and set them down for two seconds, they will automatically turn off. So how do they sound? Well, better than you might expect. I was impressed, but that doesn't mean they sound great. This actually kind of feels like wearing over-the-ear headphones. I don't know if it's because of the volume, the music quality, how they've managed to handle the, the electronics of this, but it's not like wearing in-ear headphones where the music is really going in here and you can still kind of hear some of the outside. This feels like I'm completely covered and it's hard to hear stuff that's going on in the distance. Oh, now this changes my perspective a little bit with how good it sounds. Like maybe I would wear these if I didn't have to like fumble with earphones and if I charge something else. Good. It's really good, actually. It's interesting how I'm not actually wearing earbuds and it's not actually covering my ear, but it feels like it is. It sounds good. I don't know how loud is it anybody else can hear it, but it sounds like it's pretty loud in my head. The volume is about at 60%. Can't really hear it. Can't really hear it. I can kind of hear it. Now it's really loud. This is crazy. While they don't sound quite as good as Apple's AirPods, they can play pretty loud, although they sound best at around 60 or 70% volume levels, not cranked to the max. One of their best features is that even though they sound loud to you, they leak little sounds so people around you can't hear your music or who you're speaking to on a call. They do work well for making calls, and I was able to hear callers reasonably well in the streets of New York, even though my ears were open, taking in all the sounds around me. Battery life isn't great. Bose says that at average listening levels, they run up to 3.5 hours for playback and up to 12 hours on standby and can be fully recharged in less than two hours using an included pogo pin cable. A pretty swanky protective case is included along with a cleaning cloth. Alas, Bose doesn't offer prescription lenses for the frames yet, but the lenses, which aren't polarized but seem pretty decent, do pop out and you could get a prescription lens on your own. Know that you will void the warranty if you do pop those lenses out. They don't offer a high degree of water resistance. They're IPX2 certified, but Bose reps told me I'd be okay to run with them, and I could see people using them for running and biking and other pursuits where it's good to have your ears open so you can hear traffic and other sounds. It's hard to give a full review of these guys without experiencing the upcoming AR features, but I will say this is an interesting wearable that has a chance to shake up the audio market in the coming years. I'm David Carnoy for CNET.com. Thanks for watching.